क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेंटी ए न्यूक्लियस ऑफ यूरानियम अंडरगोज फिशन सो जीरो एन वन नाइन्टी टू यूरानियम टू थर्टी फाइव बिग न्यूक्लियस इज इट बाई न्यूक्लियन न्यूक्लियर न्यूट्रॉन सो इट ब्रेक्स द न्यूक्लियस इन टू टू पार्ट्स अलॉंग विथ न्यूट्रॉन्स आर बीन सीन वाट इज करेक्ट विद नंबर ऑफ न्यूक्लियन रिएक्ट्स अंद क्रिप्टा नंबर अंद रेशो ओके फर्स्ट लेटर्स एट वॉज द फर्स्ट वन सो वाट आई नीड हियर दिस इज वन फार्टी वन दिस इज थ्री टाइम्स वन दो इज वन हियर सो दिस कैन बी रिटर्न एस जीरो एन वन प्लस जीरो एन वन plus 0 and 1 three times right okay so therefore on the top we just need to balance the equation so here it is 141 plus 3 is 144 here it is 236 now what i'll do is 236 on the left hand side and right hand side you have 141 plus 3 which is 144 if i subtract this you get uh, 6 minus 4 2 13 minus 4 is 92 so the answer should be 92 x is equal to 92 first one now where is 92 here 92 is here So definitely these two are incorrect. Okay, then binding energy per nucleon of krypton by binding energy per nucleon of barium. How do we do this? So what we do is, if you remember, the curve of binding energy, binding energy per nucleon, okay, versus the value of E. What kind of curve you get? You get points like this. You get points like this. Then it goes to a maximum peak, and after that it comes keeps on reducing like this. So this is what we know. Now what is this peak correspond to? Ferrous, right? What is ferrous over here? Ferrous is something like fifty-six over here. Fifty-six over here. Okay, and then the rest, whatever you have, okay, rest of them will come. Which means here we have learned that the fusion reactions can happen in this region, and fission reactions can happen in this region. That's what we know. Now, if this is fifty-six, where is fifty-six here? This is fifty-six. This is fifty-six. Now, where does your ninety-two and one forty-one stand? Ninety-two might stand over here. This could be your ninety-two. Which corresponds to krypton and one forty one one forty one could be somewhere over here. Let us say this is your barium over here. Okay. Now what does it say? Let us say for example, I do not know this value. Okay. Let us keep for ferrous it is ten here. Okay. This value if it is ten. For krypton what could be the value here? Binding energy per nuclear. So it's not given to you. You can assume how much will it be? It could be nine for example. Okay. These are not the exact values. I'm just giving some examples. Then barium. Barium will definitely be. Lesser than nine, okay. Which could be, let us say, for example, eight over here. Okay. Now, making use of these values because it's continuously decreasing. Definitely, it has to reduce only whatever may, may be the value here. Now, what we'll do is let us find out what are the what is that we need binding energy per nucleon of krypton. For krypton, what value did we take nine over here? And for barium, what did we take eight over here? So nine by eight is greater than one, right? That's what I need. I don't need what is the exact value of it. I just need only the value of Whether it be greater than one or less than one, so it's greater than one. So the answer is this and this. So answer is E. E is the right answer.